welcome back to another installment of Jamie Jams. I'm here working on Blaming on the Rain uh, from Millie Vanilli or, I don't know, whatever the band was that actually sang the song. If you like what you hear, drop down in my comment section. Tell us me that thumbs up. Subscribe to my page. You know, give me uh, some feedback, uh, whatever. You know, share with your friends. Offer me another a suggestion of a song to play. Uh, that's how I get most of these. At the end, there's always going to be a short tutorial now where I'll break it down for you exactly what I did and, uh, and how I get through songs like this that I never thought I would be playing. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm having a blast. It's E major. Woo! Blame it on the rain, blame it on the rain, blame it on the rain, baby. <laughs> oh man, I'm having too much fun playing around with this stuff. I'm gonna cut that might keep that one. I don't know. Um I wanna let you guys see some of the joy I have doing this. So I might uh, even though I didn't hit nail the ending the way I wanted, um I think I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> Alright, so so here's what I'm gonna try to sell myself down. So here's what we're looking at. Remember guys, this should be fun. If this ain't fun, put the guitar down. Like you're not, you're not doing the right thing if you're not having fun. Okay, so this song starts off with uh, the little intro part is just E and B. And 
I'm playing the major bar chords of this on the first string because it's comfortable and easy to do without thinking about trying to play the, the B chord on the second string. You totally can play it that way, but that's what I'm doing. And then the third time when you play this, this E to B, it's E, B, E, B, and then E. And then you're gonna come in on this uh, B flat. That's the beginning of the song. You said you didn't E flat. Again, I'm doing this all on the bottom string, just specifically because I think it's easier to play those major chords like that. Okay? So, it's E, B, E, B, E, B flat. You said you didn't E flat. E flat. Told her good E flat. B flat, E flat, right? Good love. Satisfy your pride. Pay attention here. Now you wish that you should have her. Now we're gonna stay on this E flat. And you feel like such a E major. So your change is going to you just double that E flat instead of going back to the B flat. And then drop to the E. You let her B walk away. Just like the intro. Just don't back to the E. Now here's the next chord, C sharp. Gotta blame it on it's C sharp minor. That's why I'm jumping to the to the second string. Gotta blame it on something, right? Gotta blame it on something. Write it, blame it on the E. Was falling B. Just like the intro. It on the E. you a flat minor now I chose to play a flat minor right here because I don't want to tune my guitar down right back to the E to the B and then the next chord you're gonna have to know is F sharp you can F sharp on the raid all right I'm gonna go through that one more time the chorus is, blame it on the E, it was falling E, blame it on the E, it did shine at E, whatever you a flat minor, don't put the blame on E, blame it on the E, yeah, B, you can have sharp on the ray, and then I like to, let it ride right there before I come back into the verse. Instead of strumming, and then I can comfortably come back in. B, B flat, B flat major. Should have told her you were E flat major. E flat, B flat major, sorry. You were E flat major. Couldn't do that. Just B flat to E flat. Had to prove Stay on the E flat. She might still be there with me. You want her B again. E don't feel the same. C sharp, gotta blame it on something. Blame it on something. Blame it on the E that was falling. Now here's the here's the extra part where we're gonna change the song just a little bit. Cause the C sharp rain don't mind. And the the next chord is A flat and the rain don't care. F sharp, you got to blame it on A flat. Now this is what's gonna blow your mind a little bit. So we're going to move the whole chorus up a half a step. But it gets easier for us, actually. You just got to remember to do it, okay? So, you got to blame it on something. Blame it on the F that was falling C. Blame it on the F that 
find its shine and see Whatever you a minor Don't put the blame on F Blame it on the F Yeah, see And that's the whole song so the key there is remembering to switch because what you're doing is you're you're transposing the the chorus up a half a step which is very common in songwriting to get add a little flair now i found this particularly challenging because i don't consider myself like a good singer so singing up a half step is tricky um, um, I had to like, I played the notes and then tried to sing to them. And um, it's gonna take me some practice to knock this out and make it perfect. And then of course I wanna do the, you can blame it on the rain, blame it on the rain, blame it on the rain, baby. Cause I think that's a cool part of the song. But, um, but yeah, I butchered the ending a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it in there because I want you guys to see what it's like for me to do this early again. And if you're not accustomed to my videos, I'm not trying to be perfect. Don't really care about that. I wanna have fun while I'm playing. And when you have fun, then you'll end up doing the songs over and over and over and over and over again. And eventually they'll become part of your repertoire. If you can just blast the song out in five minutes, and I guarantee you there's a lot of songs on my list in here that if you ask me right now if I can play them, the answer is no. Um, I can play through them, but can I play them from memory? Probably not. You need to have fun for that. And the songs that are fun, I'm committing to memory. The rest of them is more like memorization. And it'll eventually go away. So you gotta have fun while you're doing this. It's super important. If you're not having fun, find songs that you're having fun with because that's what's gonna unlock the key for your music, okay? It took me years and years and years to figure this out. And I'm humble enough to show you when I'm not good or when I'm not perfect or, or whatever. And, and it took me a long time to be that way. I, and I'm humble might not be the right word because I wasn't arrogant to start with. I just didn't think I was good enough. So, you know, if you've made it this far, please subscribe to my page. I really appreciate it. I'm still trying to get a thousand, even though it's taken me forever. I'm at like 135 subscribers when I made this video. Um, I've been doing this for about the video thing since New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Uh, and I'm working on 100 videos this year. So thank you for all your support. I appreciate you. And, um, and if you're about to offer me some critique about how I just sang or played or something, <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day, okay?